everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. And I definitely, uh, that sort of, like what you were saying with kids, you know, like the, the sort of dad saying like, oh, I want the kid to be able to like fight. And it's like, I've never actually been in a fight in my life and I'm, I'm quite proud of that and I want to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. It's like, because sort of like being bully, you know, like I was like, oh, I didn't like fighting. Yeah. It's like, I never sort of liked that aspect of it. Um, but then obviously there did come a point where I sort of stopped like I, I was training a lot of jiu-jitsu and that really like built up my confidence where I never felt like I needed to fight or wanted to fight someone, you know, That's it's like, feature, yeah. and it's the, I think the disconnect between some other martial arts, like I'm, I'm an advocate for any martial art, yeah, yeah. but I think the biggest disconnect between like some martial arts and what I think like separates like jiu-jitsu and judo and things like that is the ability to like control someone without having to hurt them. And yeah. it's like, even if you choke someone, it's like, you you know, you put them unconscious and then you can just control them or like time up or something, you know, it's yeah. like, just mm -hmm. find some kind of way to not have to hurt the person. Mm -hmm. So when I started training a lot of like Muay Thai and like, cause I know you've done yeah. like kickboxing yeah. and stuff as well. Like, yeah. did you do kickboxing before you? Yeah, I did, did some you? striking stuff before, yeah. nothing seriously, but yeah. yeah. So I started training like a bit of Muay Thai and that's where I started noticing, not just in the people around me, that were training like yeah. there's this one guy i won't say his name but he, he was training a lot of jiu-jitsu and then he started training a lot of kickboxing yeah. like the muay thai and there was like he went from being this super 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 nice guy yeah to then just like and it was like he started getting this chip on his shoulder yeah, yeah. and i even started noticing for myself where like if i was previously you know if you're walking and you're in a bad mood or whatever and somebody looks at you in the wrong way or like they just they just sort of uh you they're trying to egg you on in a way like yeah, you know they're just being like and for lack of a better term like you mean this individual idiot. was yeah. doing that okay so they were becoming confrontational in a bit yeah, yeah like and just people like sort of in general where i noticed when i was training muay thai um i started because of your almost learning which is why i think there's that disconnect between something like jujitsu yeah. and like something like boxing and uh, even though I'm like a big advocate for it as well is is that you're learning especially for a kid like before you learn like obviously the things you learn as you grow up mm. so if you if you grow up in a household that you know doesn't teach you respect yeah, yeah. like good morals then when you go into something like boxing then what you're learning or the kid because they don't it's have that be moral misused, yeah yeah, yeah. It, they learn, okay, how do I solve my problem? Somebody's picking on me. Punch in the face. I punch him in the oh. face. Yeah. Versus jujitsu, it's like, okay, somebody's, you know, annoyed, like trying to fight me or whatever, and they take him down and they sit on top of him and like, leave me alone. Yeah. And so it's this sort of, I do think there's, that's why like, especially for younger kids, I yeah. think that's where jujitsu far exceeds like, and striking martial arts, yeah, yeah. as a, as a defensive sort of, um, for kids growing up especially yeah. but then once you sort of get older I do think the, the striking element becomes a it's lot Im more it's handy. important yeah. for sure like you, you do need important. to learn lots of different skills and stuff like that but I think that's a really important point and um, I think like the thing you touched on there was like because there's a different a level of control and um, assessment as you do jiu-jitsu because you actually have to think about how to control somebody mm -hmm. and manipulate them and control them the, the approach to self-defense is the same like all the approach to the way you express yourself is the same whereas kickboxing and boxing is it's not as cognitive and and, and analytical and, and focused on analysis of like oh, i'm going to control the person yeah. it's just i'm going to explode on this person yeah. in their direction and, yeah. and hopefully that it works out so hey guys thanks so much for watching the video um if you haven't yet already make sure you subscribe and like and again, go and check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, like all our platforms. Give us a follow at bjj.101 on Instagram and go and check out bjj101.com.au to access the full video library.